subscribers who are going. I and I have been waiting so long to do a tutorial on this song. I don't know what took me so long, but ain't no better time than the right time. And the right time is now. Before we get into anything, a little common courtesy. I want to say big up and thanks to all of my supporters, all of my viewers, all of my subscribers from then up until now. Now, if this is your first time on this channel, this channel caters for island music, reggae, ska, soca, and so on. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, and if you've been learning, and if you like the channel and all, go ahead right now and hit that subscribe button right down there. It's right here. It's red. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit all so whenever I post a new video or tutorial, you will be the first to know. You will be alerted. The title of this song, Black Man Redemption. Name of the artist, Robert Nesta Marley, popular known as Bob Marley. The legend, the king of reggae. I hope you guys are ready for this one. Grab your guitars. Let's go. All right, Black Man Redemption from Robert Nesta Marley, the king. Now, let's talk about what's on my guitar first. All right, I'm my Pod HD 500X, you know, guitar processor. I'm using a bit of plate reverb and I set it at about 41 there. I have a tip of chorus on it, all right? You won't hear the chorus unless you spell the cards out like that, all right? So, you can hear the, the reverb right there. And I do not like setting my guitar to be, you know, I don't like that thin sound, so I like it when it's a bit thicker, all right? So for the chorus, the chorus is different from a phaser, guys. The phaser will sound like this. That's phaser, all right? Chorus is a bit different. Actually, actually much different, all right? So let's get to the song. This song is in the key of F. I'm gonna use this F right here instead of this one. So you're gonna need an F. You're gonna need a C. You're also gonna need a B flat major, A minor, and also a D minor. So those are the chords you're gonna be using. All right. Now guys, I implore you, if you want to learn to play the song properly, watch it to the end watch the entire video not just don't just get the cards and then run along with it because now you get the cards and you know you do not know what to play really and how to give it that a certain feel you're right so um please i implore you guys watch the video to the very end all right so i'm going to be dealing with the intro and uh, and so on all right, I'm gonna be dealing with it in order. All right, so stick with me. So, so we're here to start. Let's start with the intro, right? Goes like this. Then, then, I'm not gonna be doing any singing because I did a gig last night and man, it took my voice. So um, yeah, let's deal with the um this intro right here. So you wanna come up all the way here to the 12th fret and you wanna place that pointer finger there. First string, place that um you can use the middle finger or the ring finger and you wanna place it on the second string, 13th fret, and you wanna play. Then you wanna slide up. In fact, I'm not going to be calling out the notes. I want you guys to pay attention. I want you guys to see. All right? I want to build your ears. That is what I want to do. All right? Instead of doing this lazy stuff, I'm not going to do everything for you guys. So check it. I'm going to play it slow. Then I go. Pay attention. Then back. Then you run the fingers like that. So one more time. Mm -hmm. 
Then you want to come here. And that's the 11 fret second string. You want to slide down like that. Okay? And that's basically for that part. Then, so it's like you want to bar the F, but you want to use a pointer finger to bar the third and fourth string. And you want to play those. So you want to slide from the 10th to the 12th. So you go like this. First one. Then. Again. Sorry, then you go. So you repeat the same thing. And that's it for the intro right there. Do you remember that the intro it's the C major to the F major. Right? So the cards are gonna be playing that. And you're going to be playing a lot of this throughout the song until you get to the bridge. All right, then back to this. Let's deal with the, um, the cards for basically the intro and the verse. All right, because they are the same. It's just two cards. So it's a C major to F major. So it's a 5 to a 1. All right, so you want to come all the way up here to the five, six, seven, eight fret, you want to bar the whole eight fret. Place that middle finger on the third string, ninth fret. Place the pinky finger on the fourth string, 10th fret. Ring finger on the fifth string, 10th fret, right there. Then, to get that F major, keep the pointer finger right there still, and you want to rest the ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string. Of the tenth fret. So you want to be playing. So you bar that. Now you want to be strumming from the fifth string down. And remember, if you're playing with a full band, you do not need to concentrate on the thicker string. So you want to. So what you have right here? No need to get jumpy. No need, no need to get jumpy. And no need, and no need. You continue playing that right through until you get to the bridge. All right. So here's a demonstration. All right. Remember, like I said, it's from the. C to the F, all right? So here's a demonstration. So let's deal with the stock line for the verse, all right? You're gonna be playing with these notes. This note comes once in a while, alright, so it's going to be like this. So you're basically playing around with these notes, you know, you listen to the strumming from the C to the F, the 5 to the 1, and you play around with those. That 
that's basically what you're doing you're playing around with it remember a stock line and you want to mute you want to rest the palm here all right so here's a little demonstration all right so you want to start here That's basically what you do. But I'll teach you guys this part. The part where it goes, a black man redemption. Oh, yeah. You know, he's basically playing on these. Right there in your D minor pentatonic. All right, so it's gonna be. Turn back, hammer on. You know, and at times Okay guys, this is a part I want you all to pay close attention to it, The bridge, the bridge can be a bit tricky all right it's not there's a not so much of a regular card in there all right and i'm going to teach you guys that one and if you do not know how to, and if it's probably if it's challenging i'm going to give you guys an alternative that's going to sound very good all right so you want to learn this stick with me all right pay attention so it picks up on the da 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 da, -da which is the d me d Now guys, this is a part I want y'all to pay close attention to. The bridge. The bridge, uh, there is a not so much of a normal card in there. They inject in there. Um, I'm going to teach you guys that one. And um, also, if you guys find that one a bit challenging, I'm going to give you all an alternative. All right, so you want to learn this, so stick with me. So you want to pick up on the D minor for the for the bridge. Then you want to go to the A minor. Then the F major to the chord that I, I, I mentioned. To the G, A minor, B flat major. Bit worse, so bear with me. All right, so let's start with the cards. Bar the whole fifth fret, place the middle finger on the second string, sixth fret, place the pinky finger on the third string, seventh fret, place the ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. You should be striking from the fifth string buying all of this for stability all right all right that's the pinky finger hammering on right there all right then you want to get to the a minor bar the whole fifth fret place that ring finger on the fifth string seventh fret pinky finger below at the on the fourth string or if you guys want to switch it around, if it makes you comfortable. 
Then to the F major, which I showed you guys already. And let's get to that not so much of a normal chord. Right there. You can call it a diminish. So to get this chord, you want to place the pointer finger on the fifth string, ninth fret. Right there. Place the middle finger on the fourth string, tenth fret. Place that ring finger on the second string, 10th fret. And you want to put the pinky finger on the third string, 11th fret. And that's a chord. This is probably going to be a bit awkward for you guys. So it's like. Then. Then you want to go to your G. And the G is just like you form that C major. You just want to start it here at the third fret. It's the same thing. Then back to your A minor. Then you go to your B flat major, which is a half up. So you go like this and you form the major. Remember, not the minor. So you keep that finger up. When you get to that, you place that middle finger there then to the C so so far with that da 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 His imperial majesty is the power of a private spreader you know so, so if you guys find this card challenging, this is what you can do. When you get to that F major, see that? So easy. So you want to, instead of that F, you just want to sharp the F. So let me let you hear it sound. Da 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 so you only want to play those two notes. Is the power of our poverty. <laughs> I have to laugh because I figured it out and um, it's so, you know, so if you're on stage and if, if the song is playing a bit fast and you can't grab this quick enough, you can just... And that's basically it for... The bridge. I hope you guys followed. I hope, remember, it's a video. You can slow it down. You can do whatever. So for the bridge, let's recap, right? Um, remember, you're starting at that D minor right there, all right? So it's going to... Coming from the river of the minor. Move to the A minor. Forgive me for my bad singing. It's imperial. Remember here? It's the power of the poverty. Red so remember when you get to that C major you want to stay there when he said spread out all right because remember you're starting over the verse it might sound weird now but when everything comes together you know say so remember to stay there and remember it remember your alternative so it's like my bad it's imperial. Power up. All right, and that's it for your bridge. So now I want to teach you guys how I want to demonstrate to you guys how to strum reggae. All right, now forget about how I was strumming during the tutorial. Now is the time for the correct strumming. What I was doing there, I was trying to make it ring out as much as possible. Probably I was moving a bit too fast, but do not concentrate too much on that. It was all about the notes and the chords. Like remember at first what I said, watch the video from the start to the finish. Because in order for you to play it correctly, you know, you need to see everything that I'm doing. 
okay so it's not just about the cards and the notes it's the field also all right so for the cards here we go this is how we strum that's one strike let's say you want to do a double skank Notice how I apply pressure. While I strum. Those little slides are my little slur. To the one strike. Then you can mix it up or do whatever you want to do. But remember, while you strike, you want to apply pressure with this hand and you want to bar. And that's basically how you strum. Yeah, man, and that was Black Man Redemption by Robert Nesta Marley, popular known as Bob Marley. Now, guys, let me know how you feel about this tutorial. Let me know if it was, you know, helpful and all. If you have a request, put it down there in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do not wait another minute. Hit that red button down there. Hit the notification bell. Hit all so whenever I post a new video, you'll be alerted. Check the cards for other tutorials. And also check out these two right here. Remember my name, Zion from Zion Guitar. Blessed love, peace out. I'll see you next time.